Fallout 76 may be devoid of human NPCs, but that doesn't mean that some fairly iconic factions weren't stationed in Appalachia, or that you can't join their ranks. Sort of. It turns out that a small detachment of the Brotherhood of Steel once tried to contain the Scorched Menace here. If you want to take up their quest, you'll have to prove your worth. Here's how to join the Brotherhood of Steel. You can find abandoned BOS camps all over the place, but you'll need to start their questline at the right place if you actually want to join their group. Your first target is Abby's Bunker, a hidden shelter on the north side of the mire. Lockpick the door and head inside, and look for Abby's personal terminal to find info about Fort Defiance. If you haven't already found the location, you may have to first explore Camp Venture on the south side of the mire to get more info. To get into the command center, find the quartermaster's key in the bunkhouse lockers, then head to the secure storage basement below the vest building on the lower end of the camp to find the command center password. Read the letter to Tommy inside to get your next objective. Now you can go explore Fort Defiance, a former mental hospital on the edge of Cranberry Bog and the Savage Divide. Bypass the never ending Scorch Siege out front and explore the hospital's top floors to power the gate to the fort. At the end of the fort side of the hospital is another roadblock, a shielded elevator and a terminal that requires your credentials, which only accepts valid military member IDs. But how will you ever get one? Look around the sleeping areas for Squire Evelyn's journal, page 16, to get your answer. Detour time! Travel to Camp McClintock on the southeast side of the forest and enlist in basic training with the Master Sergeant there. You'll need to complete all the courses to get your soldier certificate. But wait, that's not enough for the Brotherhood. You need an official military ID, and the only place you can get those is the DMV. Yikes. Travel to the Charleston Capitol building and look for the DMV wing to find it's still in business thanks to some very bored robots. Patrons are required to take a number and wait for the automated number terminal to call number before... You'll have to slog through a lot of tedious paperwork and terminal typing, and you'll also be sent to find a postmark letter nearby post box outside, get a whole different form at the office of the registrar, and get the governor's seal in the other part of the Capitol building. Once you've survived this torturous journey, get your picture taken, and finally have your official government seal of approval, you can head back to Fort Defiance. Use the terminal to officially induct yourself into the Brotherhood of Steel. Now, take the elevator up to the top floor into your new headquarters, which features a safe place to eat, craft, loot, and take on more quests for the Brotherhood. Getting in will also grant you exclusive rewards like outfits and weapons, and completing more of the requests will eventually get you even better stuff like themed power armor. And that's how to join the Brotherhood, Ad Victorium. Note that you aren't just bound to one faction, so be sure to check out how to join other groups, check out our wiki guide. For everything else, Fallout, stick with IGN.